All right, welcome back. So in this session, I want to show you how to use the swept cut feature. We before we've used the swept boss base, and that's what we've used to create this handle. But say I want to create a cut inside this handle, so I can make this handle shallow on the inside of it. Okay. Say I want to, you know, remove material from it to make it a little bit lighter. So let's go ahead and learn how to do so. So first and foremost, I want to use one of my sketches that I've used in my previous sweep, which is the sketch number seven. As you can see, it highlights in blue which is going to be my path. Okay, now that path, I don't want to create again. I have it already created over here. The only thing I'm going to be creating that's new is a profile, a new profile over here that is smaller than the previous one that I've created. So for me to do so, go ahead and click on the plane number four. Okay, go ahead and click on it and then click on sketch. So we begin a new sketch. Okay, so that sketch is going to be on the surface. I'm going to click on the surface right now. Okay, and zoom in a little bit rotate it and then let's go ahead and start by creating our ellipse so i'm going to go right to the center of that expand it out a little bit doesn't matter how much and then about this much so right now i just created it so let's go ahead and make our first radius 0.125 enter and then make our second radius 0 0.025 so this is about half the size of both radiuses that i've created before which is the outside uh radiuses of the outside profile that I've created a solid from, okay, or the sweep from. So go ahead and click on OK, and let's go ahead and click on OK over here to exit the sketch. So now I've created a second sketch, which is very similar to my sketch number eight. Sketch number eight is the outside sketch, and then sketch number nine is the inside sketch. Well, now I, I want to use my sketch number seven, okay? So go ahead and click on sketch number seven, and click on Control, hold Control, and type uh, hit C, and then we'll come over here and hold control and type, hit V. And it will, SolidWorks will copy that sketch for you. So now you got that sketch in there twice. So you got it over here and then you got it over here. So now go, what you want to do is go ahead and hold both of these and highlight sketch number nine, sketch number 10, and click on swept cut. And what's really nice is SolidWorks will identify right away that this sketch number nine is your profile and sketch number 10 is your path, which is exactly correct. And if you just click OK, SolidWorks will create that cut for you. All right. So if you actually zoom in, this is a cut on the inside. So if you click on it, this is a cut all the way through to the other end of the handle. So this is really nice and neat. You just created a cut using that same path. So you don't have to worry about it. The path being a little bit different. If you want that path to be different, if you want it somehow to go through this handle at, uh, you know, not evenly as it is uh, over here, then you can create a different path for it if you like. But this is a really nice way to create that cut for, for you really fast and very efficient and you just created that and all you have to do is copy a sketch that you've already created okay because that could be very time consuming especially say you have 60 points over here that are very they have to be certain distances apart um, everyone is unique to the other then they would be very um, time consuming but because you can copy that sketch it saves you a lot of time over here so there you go. We just uh, finished creating one of the first handles. So in our next session, we're going to learn how to take this handle and mirror it to the other edge.